Hello and welcome all signs. So this is going to be your reading and whatever comes up we will talk about. I'm going to be reading with Lenormand and then clarifying with a tarot. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe so you know when I come up with a new reading and thank you all for your continuous support and being here. Um, yeah, I do hope you all will have a wonderful weekend as well. Uh, me myself, I'm gonna go and watch uh, the new Jurassic Park movie. I've always been a fan of those uh, movies, so I hope this is a this will be a good one. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So let's uh, begin. Aries. So this is going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at well whatever comes up. We will talk about. So let's see, Aries. What do you need to know? This moment in time. Like you have been going through a major change here, Aries. Because um, this is a, a feeling of uh, needing to just take some time to to yourself and process this uh, this change. Needing some time uh, for yourself to work on you. There's a lot of healing energy here. Yet you're still carrying on this uh, burden or this uh, this change, Aries. I haven't been able to let go of it completely. But this is the, the beginning, Aries, of... Uh, of a change uh, within you because so you are taking care of it you are looking through it as well uh, working on yourself on just healing this uh, these emotions yeah so Aries keep on uh, working on yourself here keep on healing this it looks like it was uh, something pretty major um, and you are just trying to adapt now yeah but you're doing the right thing here Aries because you're not ignoring it it's like you know what's going on and you're just taking care of it so, Aries, um, yeah, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Taurus, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up, we will talk about. So let's see what's going on. What do you need to know, Taurus, at this moment in time It is this feeling, Taurus, of you starting to lose uh, interest in uh, in something here or someone. Um, all right, it's almost this uh, fool me once. Let's see.
yeah Taurus it is uh, like you're done with something here you're moving on to the ne next thing it's like you're done with the, the drama or the arguments you're not staying for this yeah, you're just not uh, you're just not feeling it anymore that you're wanting to go through this again can be somebody that uh, that lied to you Taurus or uh, betrayed you in some sort of way but I can I, I, I do see you that yeah that you're just done with it it's like knowing that you can do better and you, yeah you're not gonna stick around It's like they had uh, this final opportunity here, Taurus, uh, and they didn't keep their word. Because this is this is not you second guessing. Oh, am am I really done, or should I? No, you are you are out of there. Yeah. So, Taurus, looks like you are done with a chapter here. And moving on to the next, uh, with no hesitation. It was the final straw for you. Yeah, so, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Gemini, so I'm just going to read your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up. We will talk about Gemini. So let's see what you need to know. What's going on? Gemini. Can I do see you taking a taking a risk here, Gemini? Let's see. Because even though you might know it's or think it's a bad idea, it's like you're gonna go for it because it makes you happy, brings you happiness. Yeah, a lot of hesitation at first, uh, Gemini. So this is something that you've been hesitating of uh, doing. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, wondering what if I what what if this happens or uh, maybe this will happen. But it is uh, a change here, a change of feeling stuck, a change of not uh, um, taking action. Because I do see you now, it's like, you know what, I'm going to try, no matter what the outcome, I'm not going to be stuck here anymore. So you are moving towards something here, or someone. Yeah, but it's an exciting feeling here, Gemini. Of you making this this decision. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at the near future.
yeah Gemini this first step that you're doing here because you have been hes hesitating uh, quite much and it's like you you will uh, well you live and you learn here Gemini because I do see you wondering if because it might not turn out as you were hoping for in Gemini but I don't see it stopping you either it's like you re recessing or taking a look at how you can do it differently next time but you are in a, you are in a in motion now Gemini because you took this first step it's like okay it didn't it didn't hurt me I didn't uh, I'm I'm feeling just fine, but now I know what not to do in the next uh, next time I try. So, yeah, so Gemini, I do like this. You are in motion, um, and even if you fail, I don't see you getting stuck once again. It's like you are just thinking of different ways of doing uh, doing this. Yeah, so. Gemini, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Cancer, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up, we will talk about. So let's see what you need to know. What's going on? Cancer. It's like you are in a in a battle right now, Cancer. It's like going through something difficult. But there's a sense here of not giving up uh, as well. Because it matters to you. I will see. <coughs> it's like you are keep on... Uh, you're still going, even though it might be really challenging uh, it really is uh, you stepping out of your comfort zone here cancer taking a, a risk but it uh, it's like it, it matters to you, so... Hey? It matters to you. And that's why uh, you are able to keep on going here. Hey? I haven't seen him. He's been... Uh, well, mostly in the other room all day. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. In the near future. I do see you completing this uh, this challenge uh, cancer this this uh, this problem in the near future it just still needs to 
um, hold on and keep on going as you are not giving up yeah because there is a sense here of wanting to giving up but it is uh, it does matter to you and that's why you are are still going or pushing forward here there is a sense of completion as well here uh, cancer yeah so cancer that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Leo so there's going to be your reading we're going to take a look at well whatever comes up we will talk about so let's see what you need to know at this moment in time what's going on Leo Clarify straight away, Leo. This can talk about a about a separation. Yeah, Leo. It's almost like you have been wanting to reach out to somebody that you haven't uh, well been in touch with uh, for quite some time it's like you're just well trying to figure out if this is the best idea no i don't see it being a uh, don't see it being because of uh, love or anything it's just uh, wanting to catch up with uh, with somebody here Leo like wondering how they are doing but it's like things will let's take a look at the near future like things will be uh, you want you don't want things to be complicated yeah because it did matter to you once Leo yeah i don't see it being because of uh, you still uh, uh, because you still love them or wanting to reconcile here leo it's just more that you just want wondering uh, how they have been and you know catch up a little bit but at the same time i don't see you opening this door again it's like you just wanting to well it's better for it to remain closed and uh, yeah it looks like you are in uh, your thoughts at least are in in the past here leo like wondering yeah but i do see it passing as well uh, yeah so Leo, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. 
There we go. So this is going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at what whatever comes up we will talk about. Let's see what you need to know. There we go. At this moment in time. There we go. Yeah, a lot of happiness and joy, Virgo, is, is surrounding your energy right now. Can be somebody specific that you are talking to or getting to know better that brings you this kind of energy. Um, we'll see, because it's a. Uh, can just be, Virgo, that you are in this wanting to explore these different things and going towards your own happiness yeah Virgo Kind of do see that you are creating your own happiness uh, right now. It's like you are making plans for the future. Can be with somebody uh, special or somebody that you care about. Um, yeah, but a lot of happiness here, Virgo. It's like an exciting feeling. And it's you as well that is making it. Yeah, you are, you are creating your own happiness here. Virgo. Not not sitting back and wishing for things to happen. Uh, I kind of do see you just making them happen. It's like you want to, if you want to go and explore, you're gonna do it. If you wanna hang out with somebody, it's like you're gonna reach out. Um, and it is it is working for you as well. A lot of happiness here good energies that are surrounding you right now yeah so Virgo can be a specific somebody as well that is making you feel this way uh, Virgo but nonetheless it's, uh, it's looking good for you and it's if it is somebody specific uh, they do feel this love towards you as well, or these emotions. So, there we go. That's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Libra. So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at, well, whatever comes up, we will talk about. So, let's see what you need to know. this moment in time One more. Libra There is this uh, feeling, Libra, of leaving your uh, comfort zone or your routine. It's like going out there more. It can be that you're just exploring more, Libra. Are you taking more risk or chances? We'll see. Yeah, Libra, it really is this uh, feeling of you seeking new adventures here because you are uh, looking pretty stable. You do have your routine, but it's like, uh, well, 
has become a bit familiar to you a bit boring as well maybe because it's like okay I'm, i want to do something i don't know what but i'm well i'm just gonna head out there and see what happens yeah, so there's a little bit stepping out of your comfort zone here libra ready to take on a new challenge yeah can be that you're just mm, being complete as well like you have completed something here libra you have mastered something it's like you're starting to uh, look around and see what what next you can go for but it is something different that you're wanting to try libra Yeah, so Libra uh, that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Scorpio so this is going to be your reading we're gonna see well whatever comes up we will talk about so let's see what you need to know Scorpio what's going on what does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time So, Scorpio, it's like you are done with something here, something that has been uh, well, challenging for you. But it's a feeling of uh, success. something has uh, activated your interest here Scorpio because I kind of do, do see that you've been uh, not lost but just not feeling something here Scorpio and now it's like uh, like you know exactly what it is that you're wanting and uh, and what would make you happy oh Claire Scorpio it is the, the Sun and it's like yes this is what I want this is what I'm going for it's like something has uh, awakening in you uh, Scorpio I do see this uh, well this passion it's like the the thing that you've been looking for or to chase or go after it's like you know exactly what 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 that is now can be a, a person as well but i kind of do see it more as a yeah it's almost like you have solved uh, um, like solved your mystery here uh, scorpio from going to not knowing and just trying a little bit to knowing exactly and going uh, all in for it Yeah, it's like this opportunity that you've been waiting for Scorpio so you know what it is that you're wanting and 
the things that will make you happy now, Scorpio. And you're not gonna sit back and just uh, see this opportunity pass you by. It's like you're gonna go for it. You're gonna try to get it. So, Scorpio, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Sagittarius. So this one's be your reading where we're gonna take a look at what whatever comes up we will talk about. So let's see what you need to know. Sagittarius. What's going on? Oh one more. It is this uh, feeling, Sagittarius, of you starting to distance yourself towards uh, something here or someone. It's like, uh, I will clarify. Yeah, I do see you um, separated or that you have distanced yourself from somebody here, Sagittarius. And it is this feeling of you starting to uh, accept this and moving towards more stability as well, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's like uh, everyday things are becoming easier uh, and easier and easier. It's like you're starting to get a grip uh, off it. Like uh, things that you thought was uh, well impossible before, you just didn't have the energy to do before. Is now uh, it's like oh, I gotta, I can do this. And it's still a, uh, it's still uh, working progress as well, Sagittarius. So it's just not something that you will get over overnight. But you're starting to become more, um, well, more confident and more handling it better. Let's take a look at your near future here as well. Yeah, Sagittarius, in the near future, can you see somebody coming your way, um, like asking you out or just, uh, but I don't see you accepting, not, not yet at least. But it's this uh, good feeling of being noticed as well, Sagittarius. I was like, I, I I can't do this right now. I do to. Uh... Oh, so I do see you turning this person down. Because you need to do what's right for you first. Yeah, there it is. You're doing the right thing. <clears throat> Still having some work to accomplish here.
Yeah, so Sagittarius, things are looking better for you, becoming more stable, and uh, your surroundings are uh, noticing it as well. Yeah, so keep on fighting, working on yourself, Sagittarius. You are getting over it and becoming more, more and more stable. So, Sagittarius. That's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Capricorn. Uh, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at whatever comes up. We will talk about. So let's see. What's going on with you Capricorn? And what do you need to know? At this moment in time It's like you are in search of some uh, answers, Capricorn, but not finding them is causing you, well, some stress here. I'm gonna clarify. Capricorn, can I do see you taking on uh, a challenge here? And even you yourself n know that this is uh, this is not going to be easy. But you are uh, you're still doing it because it makes you uh, well, it makes you happy. Challenges or difficult uh, task is something that you uh, something that you are welcoming like trying to find a solution to a problem is uh, it's like something you are good at or something you just enjoy but this is bringing you happiness It can be as well that you have been uh, asked to take on more responsibility regarding work. Like to step up. Let's see. Let's take a look at your near future as well, Capricorn. Can I do see you? Can I do see you working yourself uh, well upwards, Capricorn? Can be towards a uh, promotion or, or <clears throat> just wanting to master this uh, this challenge. Can be a little bit that you are doubting yourself. Which I don't see you doing now, but in the near future it can become this uh, question of doubt here. So you do have a lot of uh, confidence here that you can do it. It's like you're starting to second guess yourself, Capricorn. But it's uh, 
it's just you taking a breather here as well because you wanted to do it the right way can be a little bit second guessing but it's like okay i need to i need to really think about how to how to tackle this problem or how to um, work myself upwards yeah can be an indicator as well that don't don't rush it take your time capricorn on whatever it is that you're working on yeah so capricorn that's what i have for you thank you and uh bye Aquarius, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up, we will talk about. So let's see what you need to know. What's going on? Like this moment in time, Aquarius. There's a change here, Aquarius. A change of wanting to take uh, things to the next level. Or this is just you starting to... I will clarify. Yeah, Aquarius, kind of do see you starting to look at uh, like wanting a more serious, a more committed um, relationship here with somebody. Can be that you do have a specific person in mind that you're wanting to take it to the next level, or this is just you starting to uh, feel that you are ready for something, uh, something more. Uh, Serious, curious. Yeah, because I do see you that you've been a little bit holding back, not wanting to, uh, not wanting to go into something that serious. But something is changing here. It's like okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna well, take a risk. Yeah, so it's like you are more open now, Aquarius, to something uh, well, for a connection. Let's take a look at your near future. And if you have been uh, a little bit unfocused or uh, well, focusing on other things in your current relationship as well Aquarius I do see you um, changing that as well like putting more focus on your your person And Aquarius. It has nothing to do with this. In the near future. Unless this is a long distance relationship, Aquarius, then um, 
So it's almost uh, in the near future, of course, I kind of do see that there's some uh, plans that you have made on can be a vacation or some traveling plans here uh, might change. Yeah. Can even be your, well, your your passport that has expired, Aquarius. It's like because of something uh, legal or um, you can't travel. Can be the well the the airline as well or the the train like this out of out of your control aquarius why this uh, this uh, trip or travel won't won't uh, happen yeah so aquarius uh, that's what I had for you and well just make sure your passport is valid And don't forget it at home if you are traveling so Aquarius that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Pisces well I'm just going to be your reading we're going to talk about but whatever comes up we will talk about Pisces so let's see what's going on with you or what do you need, need to know this moment in time Pisces It's almost like you are making something harder than it needs to be, Pisces. It can be that you are just overthinking uh, something way too much. Let's see, I will clarify. Uh, this feeling Pisces of walking away from something because you know it's not right for you uh, can be a, a person or just something that you have committed to it's like you It's almost the execution here, Pisces, that you are having some some troubles with, because you have already made up your mind what it is that you're wanting to do, and it, it is to leave or to quit. But yeah, the question is how you can do it, because it, yeah, it is the it's like you want to do it in the best way possible. Can be because you want to spare somebody's feeling. Um, but can I do see that you're having oh, overthinking how to how to walk away from from something? <clears throat> Yeah, it's like uh, the best way 
to leave someone or quit something here. It's actually trying to find a solution, Pisces. When reali in reality, you know what it is that you uh, just need to do. Let's take a look, your near future. Because I kind of do see you getting away from this situation, Pisces. But in the near, in the near future, it is this uh, feeling of you second guessing your uh, your decision, if you did the right thing or not. If this really was the thing that you wanted. But I kind of do see it more, Pisces, that this is just uh, you being a bit, uh, just a bit confused when it comes to what it is that you are really after. That is what you are second guessing. Um, this right here almost made you look into yourself, Pisces. Wondering, yeah, what it is that you're wanting because now you do have the opportunity to change. To change the path you're walking on. Like you do have more time on your hands and and uh, well, after something like this, you do decide where to go. Yeah, so having some troubles picking which path to go, Pisces. Uh, but it is. Uh, at the same time, it is something that you don't need to rush either. It's like you don't have to make a decision the next day. Okay, I'm gonna do this and this and that. Uh, you can take your time. You do have the you do have stability behind you. So, Pisces, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye.